As an SVP Global Data Solutions, my, my role is to empower the business to find key insights through data. I have to bring the data in, cleanse it, and put it in a, an environment that allows data scientists and analysts to, to gain insight into things that are affecting our business. I think like any business, data is critical. It is, it is effectively the oil that makes the machine work. It's becoming more and more important in understanding how our business works, how our fans engage with us. The music industry has been relatively slow in progressing, so it was every decade or so we would get a major change in a technology that disrupted and transformed our industry. Go from an Edison wax cylinder to vinyl, to cassette, you know, to CD, to laser disc, et cetera, et cetera. With the advent of digitization of music, those changes are happening much, much faster. With the advent of the iPod and iTunes, that was, the, that was the first sort of big disruptor in our world. People effectively transferred all their physical media onto a digital media and you could take a thousand, 10,000 albums with you when you traveled. For convenience, that was, that was amazing. Nowadays, even downloads are a thing of the past. So we're now moving into the streaming world. Every piece of music, well, most piece of music at your fingertips. It's fundamentally changed how we consume music. It's been massively disruptive, but it's also been incredibly empowering for musicians and for the music industry and for fans too. If you want to make yourself heard when there's 40,000 tracks being released every single day, you need a way of reaching that audience. We get content and information from so many sources. We're, we're processing around 2.2 billion transactions every single day. And those transactions are actual streaming transactions or consumption behavior. We do things like identifying when people skip tracks and we start to identify, well, why is that track being skipped? I think our biggest challenges are the are like every every big data thing. It's it's about the four V's. So velocity, volume, veracity of data. The all all of these things sort of come together to start bringing you insight into what is valuable with data. There, there's no way of just applying an algorithm that will suit everything. The biggest thing, obviously, is that live events were were a major, major issue for the music industry, not just for one of it, for, for the music industry. That hit the music industry hard. The contra to that, though, was that because everybody was stuck at home, they were free to listen to music as and when they wanted. What we've actually seen, more engagement on the streaming platforms through, um, through the pandemic. Obviously, the live side of things we've had to be a lot a lot more creative so we we've done more sort of intimate live studio sessions the next next big thing is going to be augmented reality virtual reality will be very hot on its heels and i'll be honest with you i think virtual reality is going to change not just the music industry but most entertainment industries it is a bright future the it's it's like anything technology is an enabler but it need like like anything that enables it needs to be used responsibly all of this stuff there needs to be an ethical focus on how we utilize technology music itself is has got immense value in helping people Sometimes when something's so easy to get, it loses value. And the one thing that we don't want is music to lose value because music truly does change the world. The fact that I can listen to something and be transported back 40 years to a place, a time, a particular emotion 
is extremely powerful. So let's utilize whatever we do with technology for good, um, whether it be in the music industry or anywhere else. When you're putting stuff together, it's not just about the money. It's not just about mm. the power. It's about how are we improving people's lives.